Rustling just got a little more squishy. What's inside the new Bullseye WWE Squishums? A big thank you, by the way, to the folks over at Bullseye for taking the time and sending these my way. We're going to go ahead and get these opened up. A new line of Squishums containing WWE superstars inside. Before we go ahead and open these up, I also want to draw your attention to the fact that these are packaged as if they are the, the new WWE World title. And uh, I think that's really cool. I, I like that uh, for a packaging standpoint. It contains one... Let me draw also your attention to the fact it contains one slow rise squishum. I'm guessing that means when you squish them, you could literally just put them down and watch them as they unsquish themselves. What would that actually mean? Just to kind of, you know, reform themselves. It's recommended for ages six and up on the back of the packaging. An interesting group of wrestlers. We've got Stone Cold, John Cena, that's Staples, Triple H, of course, Randy Orton, I'm not really sure why Randy Orton's there, but Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Ultimate Warrior, and Ronda Rousey. All come to us from the folks over at Bullseye Toys. You can go to www.bullseyetoy. That's Bulls. Well, you know how to spell Bulls. B-U-L-L-S. And then it's I, not E-Y-E. -E, it's I. And then toys.com. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. I think I actually might have even pluralized that. Bullseye Toy. Bullseye toy, uh, toys. We're going to go ahead and get this open up. And uh, I guess I really don't need a knife to promote the idea that you don't always need to solve your problems with knives. Maybe I'm going to actually do this review without using a knife to cut open the packaging. I'm just going to use these bare hands, these little digits of muscle and bone just to rip away that and uh, get inside and see what's going on here. Now, before we do anything, let's have a look at the pamphlet. There's a checklist, but I'm assuming it's all the same characters that were featured. There you go, right there. John Cena, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and Randy Orton. And on the other side, Ultimate Warrior and Ronda Rousey. I guess they couldn't have done Hogan, because uh, just the way that Hulk Hogan's uh, career currently is standing, I guess the safer bet would have been Ultimate Warrior. Jake the Snake Roberts would have been fantastic to also add to the set. You know what, let me know down below whilst we peruse these what other wwe wrestlers classic or current would you like to see bullseye make uh, into squishums so without further ado i'm going to put that right over there i probably don't even need a checklist being i'm such an avid uh, wrestling fan not as much into wwe as i used to be but still nonetheless the first one we have is i guess that's randy orton What's throwing me off is the fact I don't see his tattoos and the fact he's wearing a t-shirt. But down below, it does look like that's a snake. I suppose. Let's just double check. Let's just double. I guess that is that is Randy Orton right there. Yeah. Yeah, right down there. It's just the fact he's wearing a t-shirt and I don't see any of his tattoos on his sleeves. But that's definitely, I guess, Randy Orton. Shorter hair. RKO out of nowhere and uh, just before we do that just before I get an RKO I just want to show you how you can squish them and then we'll just put them down right there and uh, he will it's like magic he'll just reform himself into uh, his regular self on the underside it says squishums and you know what like if you feel the material that they used for it it's clearly like a sponge but the best description I could use to describe this type of sponge is that it literally feels like a marshmallow. feels like if you were taking a marshmallow of this size, that would be, by the way, a delicious marshmallow if it was that size, uh, and you were just to squeeze it, it feels exactly like a marshmallow. I wouldn't encourage, by the way, making s'mores out of the, uh, the Apex Predator, because I'm sure he's not going to be all that thrilled with it, and guaranteed... You try to make a s'more out of this guy, RKO out of nowhere. Just, you wouldn't even see it coming. Just out of nowhere. We're going to go ahead and open up the next baggie and see what we got inside. A different color of hair. We got ourselves Ronda Rousey. Sort of a blank stare on Rousey. Uh, she is rowdy, according to her t-shirt. She's got a little mold there and the braided hair. She always had weird braided hair in all these matches. Never really thought that they did the best with Ronda Rousey. Never really thought that they worked 
her well enough into the programming, but nonetheless, still kind of feels like a marshmallow. And just kind of comparing her to Randy Orton, she is a little bit smaller. Yeah, I love the I love squeezing these things. Certainly for a stress relief. The idea of squeezing, not that you could really do this with Randy Orton, and certainly you could not do this with Ronda Rousey. She would kick my butt. But uh, that's pretty cool. That is that just a nice, it's kind of relaxing in a way to be able to do that. I'm going to just put them two right down there. And I must say also, I'm impressed with the size. Normally when you get these little uh, squishy, squish them thingamajiggers, they're always like this size. I mean that, by contrast, I mean normally, like I said, a little Masham, for example, is about that size. These are a good substantial size. I would have to double check, but I think this is also the same company that did the World of Nintendo Squishums, which I did still have the, uh, I think it was Boo, and I believe it was Shy Guy. I still love that Shy Guy. I have them in my collection. I think it's from the same company. We're going to go ahead and open up the next bag. I'm not going to jinx anything. Oh, see, I'm wasn't going to jinx anything, but we did get our, managed to get ourselves yet another Randy Orton. This is only something else you could do with a squishum version of Randy Orton. Certainly would not be squeezing Randy Orton's cheeks. RKO out of nowhere. Uh, let's see which one I wouldn't mind getting. Um, Stone Cold would be cool. Ultimate Warrior, yeah, why not? Maybe even John Cena. Roman Reigns, eh. Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins would be cool too. Not hating on... Roman Reigns, but, and look at that. As quickly as I said that, see? Ah, it's like they knew, they knew. Roman Reigns. That noise, by the way, came out of my mouth. You can make those noises while you're squeezing his face. Yeah, not a bad looking Roman Reigns, at least they've been in the long hair, and, uh, ah, oh, I'm just not a big fan. They push this guy so much, so much in WWE programming. Uh, let's open up the next bag. This was this would have been, by the way, a total of six bags. And uh, got ourselves another Randy Orton. Oh my goodness, another Randy Orton. <laughs> I'm going to have to put these somewhere. I think I'm going to put them with my WWE uh, DVDs and my old WCW DVDs and stuff like that. Opening up the last bag, let's hope, let's hope we don't have ourselves yet another Randy Orton. And maybe by the fact that I'm, I'm throwing that out to the universe, maybe ultimately it's going to mean that I'm going to get um, myself yet another Randy Orton. Let's hope not. Let's hope that's not the case. Open up the, the last bag. Well, we didn't get another Randy Orton. And uh, actually, no, I was going to say, oh no, we got ourselves Roman Reigns, but we didn't. We got ourselves Seth frickin' Rollins. I like Seth Rollins. I don't really like what they're doing with him right now with the title and Brock Lesnar being in the picture, but I just generally don't like Brock Lesnar being in the picture because it usually means he's going to take the title and we won't see him for weeks and months, only once in a while for pay-per-views. But yeah, that's a really neat, again, from a distance, quickly pulling it out. I thought it was going to be another... As a Roman Reigns, but it's not. It's Seth Rollins. Fine work. Fine, fine work. Uh, again, I like these. I like them in the sense that they are squishy. There's something very, very much relaxing to the idea of squeezing their faces. Squeezing, 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 and then watching them. It's almost like dark magic, molding them back into the way that they were. They're like indestructible. That being said, of course, you don't want to be giving this to the family dog. The dog would be chewing these up. But again, a little fun collectible that you can display on your shelf. Pretty, pretty neat, I have to admit. I might even be inclined to pick up more of these, venturing hopefully not into the territory of getting any more Randy Orton's, because we've already got like three Randy Orton's. But if anything, I would be very inclined to get more of these if I could get myself like Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and... Uh, Ultimate Warrior, yeah, even even John Cena. Oh, here, this is how it starts. This is how the addiction takes over. And I'll probably see myself picking up more of these. Again, a big thank you to the folks over at Bullseye Toys. Today, we were having a look at the WWE, the brand new WWE. This was the Slow Rise Squishums. I probably don't even need to put in Slow Rise. You guys get the idea. Uh, new Squishums hitting store shelves right now, if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself. Uh, also, if you are new to this channel, long-time viewers, perhaps, hmm, maybe, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Swing on over next door. Maybe your next-door neighbor is Randy Orton. RKO out of nowhere. 
Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification so future videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.